my tips. Hello and welcome to another Tech by Tips video. Today's video is going to be a pretty simple video request that I got in the channel and this comes from Smackinen and it says, hmm, there doesn't seem to be any updated Holmar images on Docker Hub. Are you able to update this guide to use the Docker Compose method? And this is referring to an old video that we have in this channel that was using the traditional way to build uh, Docker containers in a Synology NAS, but this was pre DSM 7.2 where we didn't have the Docker Compose option. And he's also bringing up that he can't find any new images in Docker Hub. So we're gonna do an updated um, deployment of the Homar application. And uh, we're gonna make sure that we use Docker Compose for this and we cover why he's not seeing a new image in Docker Hub. So let's go and cover this. First thing we're going to be doing is just a recap of what Homar is. If you go into github.com slash homar dash lab slash homar, you'll see the GitHub repository for Homar, which is a modern and easy to use dashboard with a bunch of integrations. And if we scroll a little bit down here, we see that it has 64 releases, 38 contributors, mainly written in TypeScript. And it's basically like a way to create a dashboard where you can connect to a bunch of other applications and services and now also allows you to monitor things, for example, like stocks and resources for your hardware and stuff like that. So it's gotten pretty useful now, it has more things that you can embed in your dashboard, so it's pretty nice. I'm not going to cover much on this because we've already covered this on the previous video, but you can always come here and see what kind of things you can integrate with. There's a bunch of stuff here that you can use. So just to know, if you click here where it says installation, it's going to take you to the official website, which is homar.dev. And then in the documents, you can go into the installation and then into Docker. And we're going to see a sample Docker Compose file here. And this is important here on their website to generate this uh, secret encryption key. You can click on this button and it's going to change that value to something new. So it makes it easier for you. And then you just copy this and we're going to be using this to generate the Docker Compose that we're going to be running, right? But this is what you need. And in here we can see that we're need, we need a folder for the application data and the uh, encryption key that it generated itself when we click it on the bottom. And then in here, if you're going to integrate with Docker, then you can pass that in there. So it's pretty straightforward. It just needs one folder to store the data. So let's go ahead, create the folder structure that is needed using Docker Compose in our NAS so that then we can get this going. So we're going to go here into the NAS. We're going to go into the folders here. And as usual, I have a containers directory that has all the folders where our containers are going to be storing our data and another one for the Docker Compose file. So the first thing we're going to do is in, do in the Docker containers, we're going to create a folder for Homar. And in here, it's going to be where our app data is going to be stored. And then in the projects, we're also going to create a folder for Homar. And this is where our Docker comp uh, Compose file is going to be stored. So basically, that's it. Two folders. That's all that we need for the folder structure. Then we're going to come here into Container Manager. We're going to go into the project. We're going to create a new project for Homar. So let's name it Homar. And we're going to pick that path that we just created for our Docker Compose file and select it. And then we're going to say create a Docker Compose and paste that that we just copied from the website. And then we're going to make some changes to it. So we can click next, next, don't start the project, done. Then we'll see it here. We can go into a bigger screen and then we can work with the changes here. So in here, we're defining that we have one container for our service which is the Homar application. And it says that the container name is going to be Homar. And the image, if you notice, this is using the GitHub container registry. And they're now posting their Docker images into the GitHub container registry. That's why you have not seen any updated images in Docker Hub, because it's not being pushed to Docker Hub any longer. So that's all. You just have to change the image that you're going to be using here to the latest of Homar from their GitHub container registry URL. And then again, we're going to go, let me move this to the bottom. I usually like to put this in the bottom. We're going to restart this container unless we come here and stop it manually. Now with the volumes, this is important. So this is on the left is the NAS and on the right is the container. So 
in my case i don't need the docker integration so i'm just gonna leave that commented out if you need it then you use this this is bas basically passing the docker socket into the container so that then it can read stuff from the uh, docker instance that we have running but we're not going to be using this at least for me now we need to pass it here the folder in the nas on the left side that we created to store our data so we're going to come here in the containers we're going to look for homer here and go to properties and copy this path and this path is where we're going to be putting here on the left side so that we are telling the nas whatever you put in the container in the slash update a folder save it in the nas here so that's why we have this if the container is stopped or restarted or whatever we don't lose any data any configuration or anything like that it's safely stored in the nas and then the environment variable that we need here is for the secret encryption key which is what we generated in the website here here's the ports here's outside on the nas on the left side and the container on the right side so the container is listening on 7575 and we're gonna expose that in the NAS also in the same I in the same port. So that's all that we need for the Docker Compose. Straightforward, very simple, and we should be good. So let's save this and build it. And then it's gonna pull the Docker um, image from the GitHub container registry. And once that is done, it's gonna spin up that container and then we should be able to go into the IP of the NAS and then on port 75 75 i believe is what i specified here let's validate yeah 7575 when the container is running we should be able to get something there it says it started and exit code zero so everything should be running good i don't see any complaints yet so let's go into the containers and validate that this is running and we don't see any problem i'm refreshing it stopped refreshing so it looks like there's no complaints it has a sqlite database to store the information that it needs and uh, it looks like it is ready so let's try to go into the ip of the nas and refresh on that port and here we go we go to the homar user interface this is where we get started with setting up the homar instance you can pick your language here you can pick if you want to use dark mode or light mode and then it says to get started please select how you want to set up your instance basically this says you know if you had a previous instance of homar then you can import it uh, to the new instance that you're deploying if not you can start from scratch that's what i'm going to do because i don't have anything so start from scratch and then it's going to tell us okay we need to create an admin user for the homar instance so we create a username let's say i'm going to name it homar and i'm going to say homar123 and then some oh i need to have a uppercase so there we go so i'm going to use this as my password for the sake of the video and repeat it down here and once we have that, we can create a user and we go ahead into the application and then we can configure other stuff like the analytics. Do you want to send anonymous analytics data? In my case, I don't care about that. So I'm going to turn it off. And in here, it also tells you about the crawling and indexing. I'm just going to leave it like it is, but those are configurations that you can set up when it comes to crawling and indexing for search changing and all that. Then you click continue. And then it says, OK, you have successfully completed the setup of the instance now you can start using homar select what you want to do next and it says you can create your first board or you can invite other users to use your instance or you can read the documentation right so now i'm going to go into create the first board and then that's when we get to the actual uh application of homar it has changed quite a bit from the last time that we did a video but here's where we would create a board and if you have a board that you created in the previous uh, version of Homer, you can also import it here, as you can see. On the left side, you have a bunch of tools. For example, you can click on apps and then you can connect other applications to your instance. You can find an app here or you can create um, an app here by clicking on that link. So there's a lot of ways for you to integrate other applications with Homer. If you click here on the integrations, it basically gives you a list of different integrations that you can have, like Docker Hub or GitHub or GitLab and stuff like that. So you can do all of that. You can pick. There's more stuff here on the link. So you can look, for example, if you want to integrate with, I don't know, Savin ZBD or Sonar or something like that, then you can add those widgets into your Homar dashboard by clicking there and following through that. Then when it comes to the search engines obviously when you search for something here you can pick a search engine 
here and then you can configure all the settings for those i'm not gonna go through this this is all very unique for each person because this is a dashboard that you're creating for yourself so i just want to give you an idea of what you have here you play around with it then for media that's something new but you can upload media and that media can be made available to other users of your instance here's where you manage your users so you can create a new user or remove the user disable all that stuff there you can invite people on this link here and you can create groups also and make people part of part of a group and then when you go into the tools here then you can use for example docker if you enabled the docker socket then you will be able to use docker here there's an api here also that gives you details about the homar api so you can use it if you want to integrate with something else here you can see the logs from homar so this is a nice way to look at your logs on the user interface on certificates here you can manage uh, any trusted certificates that you need to do integrations if necessary and in the tasks you can see all the different tasks that homer can run the schedule and all of that if you go into the settings here then you have basically the same things that we had in the beginning you can come back and change if you want and also you have a few other settings here again like i said this is very customizable for you so just come here read it and play with it and that'll be fine and here you have the help section where you can, you know, connect to the community on Discord. You can go to the source code, look at the documentation. All that is here. And if you want to get details about the version that you're running and all of that, you can get it here. Currently, this is version 141.0 at the time of recording of the video. But in your case, that will vary. So basically, that's it for Homer. Once the application is working like this, then you can go to your boards, create your board integrate anything that you want to integrate and then you'll be able to use your board and share it with anyone that you want to share it with so this video is going to be short it's just a matter of how do you deploy it using docker compose what the new version looks like what has changed in it and what kind of new integrations are available so that's going to be it for this one i hope that's enough to satisfy your request and uh letting you know i try to create videos based on things that you want to see so your comments in the comment section are very important a lot of my videos are created based on that so when you send me a request i'll put it in the queue i try to prioritize the videos from donors to the channel so just know that if uh, if you donate then i'll try to skip your video to the uh, beginning of the queue so then you'll get your video faster and uh, another thing is that if you have not hit the like button subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to make sure that you get notified whenever i upload a video to my channel you don't miss any of that content and again you should have not seen an ad on my video because i'm not monetizing my channel but that also means that whenever i go through the effort of creating a video you know helping you out uh, with your requests and giving you guides i am making no money from it i'm getting nothing out of it so if you like the content and you feel that is helpful to you i would appreciate if you go to the link in the description below there's a link to paypal where you can donate i shout out to the donors on the next video from on the time that i get a donation there's also a bitcoin wallet address if you prefer to donate that way so there's two options for you to do that and yeah that's gonna be it for this one i'll see you in the next one Take care.